ready to go, really? You're so small. Do you need help getting in? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It has been so long since I vlogged, girl. Life has been lifing recently. But anyways, it's Monday morning and I just, Riley's in the car with me and she has her yearly vet appointment. Um, um, every July I take her to, she gets her vaccination, like her top up of her vaccination shot. And there are so many red lights on this road. Hopefully we make it in time. The vet is like the next town over, it's like 10 minutes away. Oh, the light's green, yes. Yeah, the vet's like 10 minutes away. I was supposed to do this like last week, really, but this was the first appointment they had. So her appointment's at 10 o'clock in the morning. Why do I like choose the early time? I don't know. I think, oh yeah. It's because I want to get stuff done with the day because I wouldn't be able to do anything else. I have like 50 million YouTube videos to edit. So that's always fun. Um, <laughs> so I don't know, you're probably gonna see this in like September. <laughs> I have so many videos. I've been filming. I've, I was filming. I was staying up to date and then I got behind. I got cold. I went to, no, sorry. Right. I had a weekend off because I needed, I had a hemp party I had to go to. Then the next weekend I got COVID. Um, literally from that hemp party. Um, the next, like Thursday, I had the symptoms for COVID. Um, so that was that weekend out the window and then following weekend my sister and my nephew were over from Scotland so I was working in between all of that like a full-time job <laughs> um, and my only days off were like busy and since then work has been really really hard mentally I haven't been a hundred percent I feel like honestly I've had like a burnout but like when you read about them it's like oh yeah they last like years so I've been just trying to like pull myself out of the funk that I've got myself into and I'm trying to get myself back into a routine. Work's actually been really nice this week. Um, I actually had yesterday off, um, which was a Sunday, which never ever happens, but they did say that they understand that work's been hard. What is this light? Hello? They did understand that work's been hard on me lately, so they gave me... Um, Sunday off um, and I actually have three days off this week instead of two so I feel like they're being nice to me probably so I don't quit <laughs> I literally like teared up like once with three days in a row last weekend like I was like in tears I did also like it was that time of the month as well but I was like in tears for quite a few of those days because I just had enough I'm trying to recuperate, I'm trying to look after myself, I'm trying to be productive. This is always helpful. So I thought to get back into it, I need to start vlogging again because I actually enjoy vlogging. So here we go. We're gonna vlog today and see where it takes us. I really want to plan on getting up to Derry and doing my little, a little shop. Um because I'm yesterday. <laughs> um yesterday actually another story. I'm in a tangent, I have so much to tell you. Riley yesterday there was a blessing of the graves was on and they were on everywhere like you just have like a little kind of a little ceremony at the chapels for the graves like you stand next to the, your grave of the person that you know and then you, you like say prayers over them and sprinkle holy water and all of that jazz so that was on yesterday in two like every ch church chapel around so I went to the first one um, which is at three o'clock, and then I was gonna go to a different one at five o'clock. So me and my sister just came home. Um, we're gonna like we're we're gonna take a coat because it was raining. We we're just gonna stop at the house on like on the way past. Um, and when I got to the house, um, Riley's face was all blown up. I will insert pictures I took of her yesterday, looking so sad. Um, but yeah, she was. She's allergic to bees or wasps. I've never seen her actually get stung or never seen her eat one. She just turns up like that. Um, so it was such a good thing that we went home yesterday because she was 
And my sister, the first time this happened three times now, it always happens in the summer, obviously. It hasn't happened this summer yet, which I was actually thinking was a surprise to me. Um, my the first time it happened, my older sister was over from Scotland and she's she works, she's a veterinary nurse. So she knew what to do because co call outs for a vet on a Sunday, like you'd be charged so much. She knew what to do. She was like, this was what this is what the vet would give them in injection form. It's like the allergy tablets for humans, you give them to your pets. But please don't take my advice because dosage and stuff is different for every size of animal. Um, so always advise, always seek professional veterinary advice. Do not take my advice because I got my professional advice, okay? So do your own, okay? Because it's so scary. If you can get your dog to the vet, I would do that. But every time this has happened, it's happened on a Sunday when the vets are closed and it would charge me an arm and a leg to get a call out just for them to be like, oh, there you go, done. But it's so scary because her face swells up and renny has got such a small face, I'm like, her throat could swell up and she could stop breathing. That's what goes through my brain, like the worst case scenario. She's literally just sitting here, being such a good girl. Um, so yeah, I gave her a wee tablet. I don't think I'd give her a strong enough dose, which was a good thing, I guess. You don't want to overdo it. I tried ringing my sister and she didn't answer. Um, but I stayed home and my sister went on to the grave. I bought flowers for both of the graves, like my grandparents' graves. I bought like a fake flower thing, so um that is so my sister went on with my mother um i took the flyers with her oh god damn red lights messing my camera work up but yeah my sister went on but yeah anyways my sister did go riley was fine um she was just feeling too sorry for herself and her face went down so here we are going to the vet i'm gonna mention the vet to the vet about her swollen face yesterday. I did take pictures as you just seen so I'll probably tell her or show her. It is raining currently the weather in Ireland. Um, we had a really 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 bright and great like summer. Like I mean hot sunburn kind of weather and now it's freaking miserable and it rains constantly. I really want to take her to the vet because she gets... I don't want her to think that I just take her to the bad place. You know? So hopefully it's, it's starting to rain now, but hopefully it clears up so we can go to the beach. Because really deserves, really deserves it. So let's come with me along today and see where today goes. Yay! <laughs> That's the eyes of someone who just trusts me. She did so good, the vet, didn't you really? Did so good. So this is her vaccination health record thing. Hold on. And there we go. She's got her... This is her annual things. She's she's had all of them, and this is next year. She's come back next year. Next vaccination. Next year. This is what it cost me. Booster vaccination. Something. 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 Thirty-five euro in total for. Literally, my appointment. My appointment was at ten o'clock. It took me ten minutes. <laughs> it took me literally. 10 minutes on the dot to spend 35 euro. The life of owning a dog. Riley was so scared the whole time. As soon as I went in, she was like, oh, anything unusual? Or, you know, they ask you like, are they okay? And I was like, well, I should have a reaction to bees yesterday. She's like, oh, poor thing. She was like, well, her face looks fine. So, cause I was thinking maybe, maybe there was something like, it was too soon after the fact. Um, to give it to her, but she was fine. She looked in her ears and her teeth, and she's like, yeah, that's all good. Give her an injection. I paid for it. Goodbye. Um, Riley, there was a dog, a puppy in there, and Riley was listening to the sounds. Like, it's a small place, and because, like, the door was open, and Riley could hear this dog, and she was like, she was, I had her down in the garden, she was like, oh, happy Larry, and then she heard, like, the noises, and she was like, she was, like, hurrying into my legs, because she was, like, shitting herself. And at the vet, she kept like looking up at the vet as she was like getting the injections and stuff. And the vet was laughing at Riley how scared she was. I bless you, bitch. But she's okay. she's okay now. She's eyeing me with distrust. But she was happy to get back in there. It's currently, I don't know if you can see all the rain droplets on the window. Yeah. Um, we're like halfway to the beach from here. 
So I might, she would just take her and just get wet. Yeah. YOLO, you know? So I feel like I'm just gonna take her to the vet, or take her to the beach. So let's go to the beach. Cause I, she needs a treat. Well, I was gonna take her to the vet, but um, the vet actually gave her a treat as well. She was like, oh, would she like a treat? Cause she felt bad for her. I was like, yeah, you can give her a treat. And she added outside, she added like and when I was waiting to pay. So she did get a treat. But what I meant to say is that I don't want Riley to associate getting in the car going to the scary places, you know? Because Riley associates getting in the car going to walks and good things. So I need to give her a good thing before we go home. So fuck it, let's go to the beach and get wet. I took my raincoat, so let's go. boogers in the sea over there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see their little heads. Can you see them? The three little people over there? In the freaking sea. But otherwise, it's a bridge, run about it. Yay! This is what I look like. I have my rain jacket. It's not even really raining, it's just like spinning really lightly. But um, whenever there's a dog around, I like to keep Riley on the lead because Riley gets scared very easy. So I like to keep her on the lead when there's a dog nearby, but if there's no dogs, I let her run free. Because she has the time of her life on the beach. She really loves the beach, so. We're gonna do a quick little walk and then head home. It's, always, it's not even 11 o'clock in the morning yet. Who am I? It's actually, I love the beach too. Like, how could you not want like scenery like this? Like, are you joking? Like, Ireland is the best place. Ignore my face as well, I'm drawn. I'm gonna go and enjoy my walk. I'm gonna, I've got my AirPods in, so I'm gonna listen to um, a podcast. And you probably can't hear any of this because of the wind. Back on the beach, Riley will probably be <laughs> asleep before I make it out of the car park. Um, she, yeah, it didn't rain. It was like tiny little spittles at the start. Um, and but like, look at the clouds. Like it, it could rain any minute, but it was good. It was empty, which is always so nice because when there's no other dogs there, Riley can run free. Um, people, Riley, Riley doesn't bother people. Other dogs, Riley doesn't like them very much. So, yes, yeah, successful morning. It's only 11 o'clock, so an hour from Riley's appointment and got, got a, a trip to the beach um, as a little treat for going to the vet. So now I'm going to, um, this is Kuldaf Beach, if anybody's interested in Kuldaf Beach, in case anybody's up this direction in Ireland. If you're ever at the tippy top of Ireland, this is a good beach to go to. Um, so yeah, Riley's gonna have a nap on the way home. Um, oh, she doesn't like that. See? People? Fine. Other dogs? No. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go home, clean up a little bit, and then probably head up to Derry to do my weekly shop. 
exciting. Um, I did just make plans. Um, I bought tickets to go see Barbie tomorrow with my friend Rebecca. Um, she was texting me while we were on the beach. Um, that yeah, we were talking about it last week because she wanted to go see the Barbie film. Um, I'm not particularly fussed about seeing the Barbie film because I've seen it all over TikTok and I'm pretty sure I know what it's about. But um, I really want to eat popcorn and nachos. It's been so long. I want to go for the food, so I'm up for it. And tomorrow's Tuesday, which is crazy Tuesdays, so tickets are half price. It's only three pound and fifty pence to go see a film. So yeah, more money to spend on popcorn. So I bought those tickets because um because it's cheap. We probably should buy them ahead of time. So I bought those while I was down there. So I'm off work tomorrow as well, so that's something to do tomorrow. And yeah, let's go. Let's go home. Okay, so before I just came home, cleaned um the stuff out of the car, hoovered a little bit, just cleaned my room. But before I go up to Derry, I realised that I had a boots package that I haven't ordered because I wanted to film it. So, um, let me open this. Boy. I spent like 80 euro. And this is how tiny the box is. I like to do a boots online order when I have, um, like I like to buy everything I need. Because if you spend over 50 euro, you get, um, you get free shipping and um, the nearest boots, the Irish, nearest Irish boots is quite far away from me. Um, there's one in Derry which is closer but I don't have a Northern Ireland Advantage card but I do have an Irish one. So I use my Advantage card when I buy online so the more I spend the more points I get. So, oh, that's actually quite a full box. I've been like, um, I did a whole clean of my bathroom, like beauty supply stuff, and I wrote a big list of stuff I needed. So I completely forgot what was in here. So let's go through it. I needed a new hairbrush. Um, this is just a Boots paddle brush. Um, it's basic, but um, my hairbrush has like the dust in it, and I just needed a new one. Look how pretty that color is. This was like one of the cheapest brushes on the website. Um, so I got that. I needed some more of this um, LV Extraordinary Oil Miracle Hair Protector. It protects from heat. It smells so good. Um, I like to put this on. If I blow dry my hair after I wash it, I like to put this on like the ends to keep it. I'm literally just about out. So it's expensive too. So I thought I'd buy it on Boots Online while I was there. I needed um, a new pomade, is that what it's called? And I got warm brown, am I warm brown? This color might be the wrong color, but my um, eyebrow stuff is all um, dried out. So I bought a new one. I just bought the Revolution, the Revolution Flex Brow. Um, I got warm brown. It was like all these different colors, which I've never, I don't think I've ever had to choose. Like on the camera, my hair doesn't look, my hair looks dark, but this is the wrong color. This is the wrong color. This is the type I have, but I got, oh shit, I should have looked at the color, man. I thought I got a different brand. This is definitely too light for me. Oh, well, hmm. Why does it look, why does it look like that? Why does it look like this color on the box and then it looks like that inside? Because that is me, right? Might be a bit too light, but we'll use it. It's okay. Um, I also needed a new moisturizer. My Fenty Hydrovisor is still out of stock. It's been out of stock for like six months. No joke. So I needed a new daily moisturizer that had SPF. My, my last Boots haul... I bought this to test it out and I really like it. The CeraVe Facial Moisturising Lotion. It has SPF 50 in it. Um, I It's the exact same one that I have right now. It comes like in a little pump bottle, which is really handy and nice. Um, it sits well under my makeup. It moisturises my face. It's not too much like you're wearing um, sunscreen. It's really nice. I like it a lot. 
so i have a moisturizer that i put on during the day like i have this i have it on right now um that i wear under makeup spf in it and at night time i like to put um a moisturizer on night time so i love the hydro boost neutrogena is also a really good moisturizers CeraVe, fenty and um neutrogena hydro boost like the blue ones all very very good i recommend all of them so i got this one i've never had this one this is hydro boost um hold on to the right side for you hydro boost night cream i know they have a gel my sister has the day gel i think she has um i'm not a fan of the gel i like the cream so night cream hyaluronic acid amino acids peptides electrolytes for all skin types deliver six more six times more hydration for supple energized skin overnight upgraded formula so this is what it looks like what does it look like inside it smells good it's just a little creep i just like to after i like clean my makeup off my face I feel like my skin's always so dry because I work five days a week with makeup on. Um, I don't have any makeup on today, but um, at nighttime I like to. I'm getting old, girls. You need to moisturize. So I got that. I'm like, really excited about that because um, I just have like a simple moisturizer that I bought. I think I bought it for a trip I was going on, just so I could have a moisturizer. Um, someone's messaging me. Um, and it's great. Like it, it the simple ones work fine, but. I splashed out I got that okay so I also um needed razors and online razors are so expensive even the cheap ones even like the cheap boy ones like they're all so expensive I usually just use disposable ones um like men's disposable ones but they were not that cheap um so I was having to scroll through all of the razors and I found this I find this Venus Gillette. I know I don't think that women's razors are good. I know. Call me crazy. So I'm going to test this out and see if it's good. Because it does like this skin cushion, like hardly any blades in it. But it has three blades. So hopefully it's good. And you just buy the, um, the heads to replace them. Instead of having like 20 of these, you can just buy the heads. So I bought this. And I bought the little heads. Um, it's just the Venus Gillette Smooth. So I'm going to test it out and see if I like it. Because just having to buy these, you know, trying to reduce the amount of waste. And finally, I do have a wedding to go to. Um, last but not least. I have a wedding to go to in September. So like a month away, maybe just over a month. And I'm like, should I go and get my hair and makeup done or should I just do it myself? I'm debating about it because I'm like, weddings are expensive, girl. Weddings are expensive. So, um, and so is getting your hair and makeup done. So I don't like the look of like full on eyelashes. As you can tell, I'm quite, I don't mess with my eyes too much when I'm doing makeup. So my friend recently said that she just puts individual eyelashes in and you can create your own look so i was like girl since i'm online get the points so i got these allure london individuals it comes with a, a lift off and a glue so and like small medium and large and you can just like put your own on and create your own look instead of having big massive eyelashes that look fake so that's my boots haul Hope you enjoyed it it's just a little catch up of random things that i needed and i love the boots advantage points because you get free shit so all right let's go um into dairy i need to check out my shopping list and let's go buy some groceries so i forgot i was vlogging <laughs> so i made it up to dairy it was raining can you hear it there sound Stand up, fuck off. This sound is like my, I fall asleep to this. Like the on the roof sounds, ah. Oh. Anyways, I just, I stopped at McDonald's. It's now um, 10 to one. Where is the day going? Uh, I was stopped at McDonald's cause I didn't even film any of that. I was so hungry. Oh my God, it was beautiful. I still have my remnants of my drink. 
parked outside Sainsbury's. I do have a shopping list. I need, oh, painkillers. Hmm. I have to buy them up at the till. We'll see. I need apple juice. I need printer paper. I need um, baby wipes. I need just all my snacks. I think that was it because I think I'm, I'm up to date on everything else. I just need snacks. <coughs> I need all my snacks and I need... This one was going to crash into me. Yep, and she did. Do you hear that? Yeah, so I need all my snacks, basically, and drinks. So yeah, let's go. Should I film in there? This video might be really long. So, I don't know. Let, ah, well, let's go. I'll take you out, you know? Okay, it is definitely raining now, as you can tell. Ah, oh my god, I'm tired. I couldn't sleep last night. And then of course, I had to be up early to take my night to the rest, so. I probably fell asleep at like three o'clock in the morning maybe, and got up at nine, which is actually quite a lot of sleep, but for me anyways. Good. I spent 50 pound exactly. I know people like to see the receipts, so there you go. Fifty pound on the money. Um, the only thing I didn't get on my list was painkillers. Having I usually have like a stock up of everything, you know. I'm not. I'm never just on like my last thing. Dog food, hair shampoo, like everything I own. I always have like another backup ready. After having COVID and then my period, I'm nearly wiped out of painkillers. So I know I need to restock it, but you can't buy them on the self-service, like self-checkout, which I like doing. Even with like a little trolley, I still do the self-service because I don't like talking to people. So I was like, I can wait. I'll put it on, on my new shopping list because I constantly have a list going like of things that I need. So by the time I go to the shop, I know what I need. So we'll add that to the new list when I go home. Right, I'm gonna go home. It is now 20 minutes past one o'clock, which is, I feel like my day's done. Um, I'm gonna go home. I need to do um, a load of washing, um, put all this stuff away, and then I'm gonna edit YouTube videos because I need to sit down and freaking do it. Because I have this opportunity, this day free now. I need to do it. So, yeah, I'm going to end this video here because I've got nothing else planned for the day. I'm going to stay inside this rain. I'm staying inside. I'm going to edit, edit, edit. So, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video.